morning, Canada. So when it comes to getting where you need to go, which do you prefer? Ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft, or calling or even sometimes hailing a cab? Well, we know this industry has changed a lot over the last few years, and that's the focus of today's Your Take. With me right now is AM and Kels. Good morning, by the way. Morning. So we found this study that recently highlighted how Canadians feel about ride-sharing services and taxis. And what we found is that still, nearly 40% of Canadians prefer taxis compared to about 30% of Canadians who prefer ride-sharing services. And this is kind of interesting because we've really seen these ride-sharing services take off, especially in bigger cities. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the other thing that we found as well. Uh, the majority of Canadians also would like to see these ride-sharing apps regulated like taxi services to ensure um, quality, but also safety standards. So do you guys use taxis or do you use ride-sharing services? It depends on the opportunity. Yeah. Sometimes if I'm leaving somewhere, I have to get somewhere quick and I don't want to wait for the car to show mm -hmm. up and there's a cab standing right there, I will jump into a cab. But generally for like longer trips, mm -hmm. I will use a ride-sharing service. I have the option of selecting a driver. The experience is so good, mm -hmm. the cars are clean, the service is great. I, I, I'm a big fan. Right. I only started using ride sh sharing services in Toronto, but prior to that, when I lived in Calgary, it just, it wasn't even on our radar. It was always call a cab, and I knew the numbers. I still do, Yeah. Um, off the top of my head. It's a great point, Kels, because some cities in this country still don't have the availability to use these ride-sharing services, like Vancouver. Believe it or not, our country's third largest city does not allow for ride-sharing services. Don't they all just ride their bikes? Oh, uh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you'd wish, you'd wish, but no, it's not uh, regulated at this point. It's not allowed, but what we have been seeing are some third-party illegal services that have been popping up, but still, those are illegal. Where they our uh, legal is in the city of Toronto. We know that there is a lot of combat when this first was implemented sure. a couple years ago. But we have seen ride-sharing services take off. In fact, we're, uh, the TTC, the Toronto Transit Commission, their ridership has actually stalled in the past couple of years. Before that, it was increasing at a great rate. But now we're seeing more people are not taking transit. They're actually using ride-sharing services, mm -hmm. which is quite fascinating. You know, there's actually a city in uh, Ontario, Innisville, uh, just south of Barrie, Ontario, that uses Uber as their transit network. So rather than implementing their own transit network with buses, they decided to use Uber as their transit network. So they discount the fares if you're going to popular destinations like libraries or the rec center or city hall. And they'll discount it to a certain, I think it's about $3 if I'm not mistaken. And at each of those locations, there's an iPad where you can actually book your Uber. So what we're really finding is that the industry is changing. Mm, so sure. here's the question for our viewers right now. Your Your Take question. You know you got to use the hashtag Your Take. Do you prefer ride-sharing services or taxis? We would like to know right now. Let us know your preference. You can hit us up on Instagram, on the Twitter, or you can chime <laughs> in on Facebook. We are there. The question is there. We want to know.